Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about sparklines in Google Sheets and we're going to start with one of the least commonly used ones, which is the win-loss sparkline. This example you can find in any sport that has a round robin tournament where there's eight teams and they each play each other once, so there's seven games total. The number one denotes a win and the number zero denotes a loss. It's simple. But if we want to see it more visually, we can use the win-loss sparkline. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. It looks pretty cool. So we're going to go into column J, into this cell right here, and type in equals the word sparkline. Open our parentheses, and then the data we're selecting is from C3 to I3, so we can highlight all of that, add a comma, and then to add options to our sparkline, we're gonna need this squiggly bracket, which you can get by typing in shift bracket on your keyboard. And we want this to be a win-loss chart, so in quotations, we're gonna type in chart type, end quotations, add a comma, and then in quotations again, just write win-loss with no spaces, end your quotations, and then end your squiggly bracket and hit enter. And now the boxes display the wins and the empty spaces display the losses. What we can then do is click on the cell and drag everything down. And you can see all the wins and losses per round for each of these teams. Now there are many options you can add to sparklines. For example, you can change the color. So I'll show you how to do that by clicking back on this cell. We're gonna go inside the squiggly brackets and add a semicolon for another option. Make sure it's a semicolon, not a comma. So then in quotations, we're gonna write the word color, end quotations, a comma, and then in quotations again, we're gonna type in the word green because that's the color we want, end quotations, hit enter, and now you can see that the win losses, or the wins rather, are displayed as green. We can drag it down and now all the wins are in green. Next, we'll move on to the line chart sparkline. And here we have a seven game series with five different basketball players and random point totals for them. And we wanna display visually for each player the point totals they get so we can see it in a line chart. This is very similar to the win loss where we type into cell J3 here equals sparkline, open our parentheses, highlight our data, add a comma, and then again, we need the squiggly bracket. In quotations, we write chart type and quotations, comma, and then in quotations again, line, because we want a line chart. End quotations, add a closing squiggly bracket and hit enter. Now you see a line chart for the point totals. And if we drag this down, It'll be the same for all the players. Again, you could change the color if you want and add a few more options, but in the next example for bars and column charts, we're gonna see some other cool options that you can do. So this spreadsheet could look familiar if you saw my last video where we made a habit tracker. The link to that video is in the top right. But basically what this spreadsheet does is it tracks all of your habits in a given month. So at the bottom here, you can see the percentage of habits we completed on Monday the 1st. And we made a formula to get that. And we have that same formula for every day of the month. Now we can visually see how many of these habits are done with a column chart. So to show you what I mean by that, we're gonna click in cell C24 and it equals sparkline yet again. We can then open our parentheses and our data is just gonna be the 61% in this cell here. That's all we need, add a comma, open our squiggly bracket, and again, in quotations, we're gonna write chart type, and quotations, and then a comma, and the chart type we want here is a column chart, so we'll type that in around quotations. And then for a column progress chart, you need to tell the spreadsheet that 0% is the minimum and 100% is the maximum, that's the only way this is gonna work. So to do that, we'll add a semicolon for our next option, and then in quotations, we type in Y min, the minimum, and then add a comma, and then this is not in quotations, you just type in 0%, another semicolon, and then in quotations, you write Y max, and then add a comma, and then again, without quotations, write 100%. Then you can add another semicolon, and we're gonna add a color. The theme of this spreadsheet is green, so in quotations, we're gonna write in color, and quotations, comma, quotations, the word green, end quotations, and then a final squiggly bracket, and then we can hit enter. And now you see this bar fills up 61% of this cell. And if we drag everything across, you'll see that the bars fill out according to the proper amounts here. So say on Tuesday the 4th, we wanna check off everything. We did everything on that day. You can see 100% completion in this bar here. And next we can scroll over to the right here, and I'll zoom in a little. And here you have 71% of the month you completed habit number one. So we're doing something similar here, but because the bar is going to be displayed left to right rather than down to up, I guess, 
uh, this is going to be a bar chart instead of a column chart. So it's very similar. We're going to type in equals sparkline, open our parentheses, and then the data is going to be actually the data is just going to be 71% again, cell A14. Then we add a comma, open our squiggly brackets, and then in quotations, chart type. And the chart type here is going to be a bar chart. So we'll type that in in quotations. And here you don't need to tell the formula that it goes from 0% to 100%. All you have to do is add your semicolon. And then in quotations, you write the word max. You just need to tell it the maximum, add a comma, and then just type in 100%. And then again, we're going to add our color by adding a semicolon and then typing in, in quotations, color one. Before we did just the word color for the column chart, for the bar chart, we have to tell it that it's color one, and I'll show you why in a second. And our quotations, add a comma, and then in quotations, we're going to type in green, and quotations, and then a final squiggly bracket. So now you have a bar chart that displays 71% of the cell as full. And the reason we had to tell it that color one was green is because you could add a second color. So I'm going to do that by adding a column to the right here. And this column is going to display the percentage that was not completed. So we'll add a little function here that is equals one minus the percentage in a1 so it's just going to be the remaining amount hit enter and we can auto fill here so now this column is complete or done so we'll just write d for done and here we'll do an x for not done you can make it look better after if you want so now we know the blank part of the bar is 29%. We want to display that as a different color, in this case red for bad because we didn't complete our habit. So we're going to go back into the function and first get rid of this range here. It's just A14. We're going to get rid of that and then select A14 to AJ4 to have both of these in. And then next, we're going to add on to our function inside the end of these squiggly brackets by adding another semicolon. And then in quotations, we're going to type in color two to display the second color, and then add a comma and type in red in quotations. Once we hit enter, you can now see that 71% of the bar is green, another 29% is red, and then if we drag this all the way down, it should do the same for the rest of this chart. You don't have to have a second color, um, but it's a good feature to know. And you should also know that you could even do three or four or more colors if that's something you need for a given chart. And finally, we're gonna take a look at this stock dashboard that I made uh, in a video a few years ago. And here you can see a 250 day chart of the last 250 day closings for all of these stocks. And this is also a spark line. As you can see, this is kind of a complicated spark line, but basically all you need to know that this is a column chart and in the last example, you can see the column chart was just a one bar a progress bar, but that's because we chose a Y min and a Y max. So this is a column chart that just shows multiple columns over and over again. And I would recommend watching this video to see how this is done, but you can see if we click on the 250 day chart header here, we can change it to a five day chart and the spark line will adjust accordingly. And now you can see it's just a simple series of columns. But when you have so many as you do in this, it looks like the whole stock price because you have 250 columns in such a small space. Now I'll leave a link to this video as well so you can see fully how the sparkline is done. It involves uh, many different functions so you could really learn a lot from it. The link is in the top right and also in the description. So let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, sparklines are a great tool to visually see things without having a big bulky chart inserted into your spreadsheet. So I'd recommend using them. And if you found this useful to you, I'd appreciate a like. And as always, thanks for watching.